This is my timber framed solar array for our off grid solar system. Check it out. This is completely in virtual or augmented reality. And this is about 30% the size it's going to be. So I designed this in Shaper 3D and I've actually got a, a 3D model being printed, but uh, I wanted to see what it looked like out here. So let's get it up to full size. There we go. Look at that. It's growing. It's going to be freaking huge. Oh my gosh. There it is. hundred percent. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Okay. Let's stand way back. Let's take a look at this thing. All right. Telephone pole or power pole. Then we got this guy over here and I actually need uh, it's kind of crazy, but we're going to do three of these. So this is one of the three. Each each of these arrays will feed one panel. I mean, excuse me. Each of these arrays will feed one of the inverters. Kind of nuts. Man, look at this guy. All right, so here's what we've got going on. Uh... These legs back here, I believe these are 17 feet high. Now, why on earth am I doing this? Well, as y'all know, uh, if you've seen some of the earlier videos, we've got to get above these trees. I'm going to have Encore come out and see if they can take some of them down a little bit because they are hanging over some of the wires. Um, but we've got to get, like right now the sun, it's way up here. It's fine. But in the winter, the sun's going to track kind of through here. So the farther we can get back, the better we're going to be at uh, basically getting over those trees. The next thing, let's see if we can get back over here. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to go back to where this thing's small again. Oops. Let's get a small, and then we can talk about it. Okay. So. This is going to double as not only a solar array, which is pretty awesome, but it's also going to be make a pretty stinking sweet shelter for something. I don't know. Uh, and we could drive tractors in here. Basically, these are 10 feet, um, 10 feet apart here, another 10 feet apart. Um, and then it's obviously 10 that direction as well. So these are basically um, 10 by 10 areas. And we can enclose this in. We can put a, uh, a deck across the top over here and we can end up um, basically storing a ton of stuff in here. Or one thing that we've discussed for quite a while is making this entire area over here pasture because we've got out here under the power lines, but if, and, and all of these trees are about to go. Um, we're just using them for shade in the afternoon as we clear out all of this area. So once these trees are gone, all of this can be pasture. And then these can be um, shelters for the animals, um, whether that be the goats um, or maybe later if we get cows or whatever it is, they can go under here and enjoy some shelter. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's, uh, it's gonna be a huge project. Luckily, we have the lumber. I can't get it to go back up full size. There we go. There you go, 100%. Um, and it's just, it's gonna be, gonna be huge. So I'm excited about it. This will be our first time to actually timber frame build anything or build anything from on the property from timber framing or using the timber framing method. Uh, Jen and I have both taken some classes. Um, we've gone through an entire course rather, um, but we've, We've never built anything yet, so, um, man, I'm excited about this. Let me know what you think about the design. Let me know what you think about the concept. And, uh, yeah, so if you're new to this and you're wondering, you know, what the heck I'm talking about, um, I've got an entire playlist that's going to be our, our process going through the, the, uh, the well, the entire process of, of clearing the land, um, getting in all the material, building the rays uh, or the ground mounts, setting up the solar panels. Over here, we're going to have a solar shed. Um, in there, we're going to have three 
um, EG4 6K inverters. We've got 30,000 uh, or 30 kilowatts, 30,000 watts of, um, uh, of batteries, the EG4 batteries, and we're going to be taking our house off grid. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're as excited about this as I am. Um, and come join us. And uh, over here, check the um, check out the playlist right here, one of these links, and then um, you know check out this other video because it's probably one that you like because YouTube's pretty good at that. So, all right, guys, um, subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video.